On October 7th, under the directive of Mayor David Narkowitz, the city of Northampton offered $550,000 to the O'Connell Development Group of Holyoke for the purchase of St. John's Cantius Church. St. John's is a historical church and was originally built in 1904. The O'Connell development planned on demolishing the currently unused structure and building five more townhomes. If purchased, city officials say the church could potentially be used for the Community Resilience Hub, which would help with supporting the daily needs of the homeless population of Northampton. We talked to the Northampton city planner, Wayne Fiden, about the proposed purchase and what it could mean for the city. The city's biggest involvement for dealing with um, people experiencing houselessness is to fund a series of um, hopefully comprehensive approach. So we're not generally, except for during COVID, we're not direct um, service providers, but we fund service providers. So there are, depending on you count, two to four homeless shelters in Northampton, all of which at some point or other has received funding from the city. More significantly for us is um, we funded the creation of new housing, again, partially funded, usually our money leverages state and federal dollars. Um, so we funded uh, um, both transitional housing, people who were, who were experiencing houselessness or at risk of it, and people who um, were just sort of extremely housing burdened and could become homeless. So whether it's the new Sergeant House, single room occupancy on Bridge Street, or um, the Paradise Pond Apartments at the edge of Smith College, or a few other projects around uh, um, 155 Live, um, almost every project in town that served that lowest income level has gotten city funding in. I think that there are a lot of things that Northampton could be doing for the homeless population. Um, some of them being uh, like replacing the benches with the bars on in the middle of them so that they can be like more like sleep friendly, um, as well as making um, making more beds available in, in homeless shelters. Um, and the Central Business Architecture Committee is set to meet again on November 9th at 6.30 p.m. Three committee members are recused from considering the demolition permit because of the conflicts of interest. Thanks for watching.